Women and whiskey, some might call it an unlikely duo, some may not. But there's a distillery right here in Middle Tennessee breaking barriers and building a legacy, not just for themselves, but for a man they've never met. News 2's Valencia Wicker takes us to the home of Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey. What's in a name? It often depends on who you ask. But here on Highway 231 in Shelbyville, this name means everything. His legal name is Nathan Green, but everyone called him Uncle Nearest, and all of his children referred to him as Nearest, even in their legal documents. Born in 1820, Uncle Nearest was a slave. There are no pictures of him, only two things left, his work and his whiskey. The process we know to have come from West Africa, and it is taking a, what we know as bourbon, so a bourbon distillate, and you are filtering it through sugar maple charcoal very slowly and pulling out the impurities. It is that process that Nears Green taught a young man named Jack Daniel, and that is the process that is a requirement to be considered Tennessee whiskey. He's the first known African-American master distiller. He became the wealthiest African-American in the area where he was, which is the Lynchburg area. His story, somehow lost in the folds of history, is now renewed more than 100 years later. All it took was one woman and her curiosity. It became very clear that we don't do near screen justice if we don't cement his legacy. So in 2017, Fawn Weaver founded Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey. It's 270 acres of land dedicated to the legacy and lineage of Nathan Green. In all of Nearest's children and grandchildren's photos, it was always their chest is out, their shoulders are back, they're looking straight ahead. There was a complete confidence. Just this summer, the company opened phase two of the nearest green distillery, a $50 million build out with a welcome center, tasting room, and a restaurant. When the pandemic hit, we had two options. We could do what a lot were doing, which was throw in the, in the towel and, and start pulling back and making cuts and all the rest of that, or we could go pedal to the metal. That drive, that passion to succeed, is likely a divine heirloom from Mr. Green himself. Uncle Nearest Whiskey is now the only major spirit brand in the country named after an African American, owned by an African American, and led by all women. There is nothing that we can't do if we just decide I'm going to do it. I'm not going to pay attention to my color. I'm not going to pay attention to my gender. I am going to do it with excellence. I'm going to knock it out of the park, and I'm going to make sure that no one can deny me my goal. So what's really in a name? Well, it's the perseverance to do what's never been done. The courage to uphold one man's sheer brilliance. In Shelbyville, Valencia Wicker, News 2.